The growth of the sector comes on the back of extremely ambitious targets that have been set by the government for the renewable energy sector. These targets have been backed up by business-friendly policies by the government of India and various states, as a consequence of which we've seen the growth that has occurred in the last 10 years. The biggest uh, impetus to the growth of the renewable energy sector comes from the imperative of economic growth that our country has. As part of the Paris Climate Agreement uh, in 2016, India took what was arguably more than its fair share of responsibility towards solving the problem. In fact, we have committed to renewables being 40% of our total energy mix by 2030. As a consequence of that, there's a highly elevated level of interest now, both within Indian and international investors in the Indian renewable energy sector. And in fact, there is less and less money available, both debt and equity, for dirty power like coal. In the long term, renewable energy is also an important part of the solution to the problem of India's energy security. The renewable energy sector comes within the ambit of the Electricity Act of 2003. However, the framers of the laws took into account the fact that renewable energy needed to be treated differently because the incentives for its development didn't quite exist on the commercial front. As a result of which, we see various regulatory measures within the legislation itself, which are aimed towards promoting renewable energy. There have also been historically a variety of tax incentives that have been available for the sector. Two significant pain points for renewable energy power producers in India have been the availability of land and also the presence of adequate power evacuation facilities. In the last few years, the government has introduced a policy of solar parks in which access to land and power evacuation facilities are provided by an agency of the government. The single biggest improvement that could be made is to enhance the financial health and the payment record of the state-owned distribution companies that are the single largest group of off-takers of power from renewable projects. Another area that the sector would benefit from is a better allocation of risk between power producers and power purchasers within the power purchase agreements themselves. The specific issues that could be improved is providing for deemed generation when projects are asked to back down, for providing adequate termination compensation when a project is terminated, whether it's for the default of the power producer or of the off-taker. And finally, better payment security mechanisms to ensure payment to the power producers. The future of the sector is very bright. And the three areas that I'm excited about are offshore wind, energy storage, and systems integration. Overall, between India's ambitious targets, the country's need for increasing amounts of energy, and the increasingly favorable policies, the opportunities for growth and development in the sector are significant.